healthy eating for gestational diabetes. This video provides you with some basic first line advice regarding gestational diabetes. However, for individualized advice, please see your dietitian. So what is gestational diabetes? This is when you have high blood glucose levels that develops during pregnancy and usually disappears after giving birth. This can occur at any time during the pregnancy, however it is more common during the second or third trimester. Gestational diabetes occurs as the body is unable to produce enough insulin. This is a hormone that helps control blood glucose levels. However, in pregnancy, your body cannot produce enough insulin to meet the extra insulin needed for the whole pregnancy. If you have been diagnosed with gestational diabetes, your diabetes team should provide you with a blood testing meter. So when should you be testing your blood glucose levels? A fasting or a before breakfast reading and then one hour after each meal will give your team the best information about what is happening to your blood glucose levels during the day and night. The targets during gestational diabetes may differ from type 2 diabetes. This is because research has shown that it is best for your baby if your blood glucose level is as close to normal as possible. Therefore aim for your blood glucose level to be 5.3 or less in the mornings and one hour after meals should be between 3.5 and 7.8 millimoles. Your blood glucose levels tend to be highest one hour after meals, therefore by testing them this allows us to see what is happening to your blood glucose levels and to therefore suggest any changes that might be needed if your blood glucose levels are above target. So what else can help your diabetes? One thing that can be really helpful is exercise. By trying to exercise every day, this can help improve your blood glucose levels. The government recommends at least 30 minutes of activity every day. This can be split up between 10 minutes three times a day, or it can be split up into five minutes six times a day. Any exercise, minimal amounts does count towards this and particularly after eating meals this can be the most helpful to help you keep your blood glucose within the normal range.